Hi, my name's Dan and I'm a Chair of Trustees at Warwickshire Pride. Thank you so much to Coventry and Warwickshire Partnership Trust uh, for inviting Warwickshire Pride to take part in this fantastic virtual wellbeing festival. So, as I say, I'm from the charity Warwickshire Pride and we support lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans people all across the county through a variety of different services and support activities. So, for example, we have an LGBT plus youth group, we have a trans social group, um, we have a group for LGBT people with learning disabilities, we have parents groups, and we do lots of awareness training. So LGBT plus awareness training, trans awareness training, lots of educational stuff, workshops, and we also do telephone and email support. Another big part of our offering is the Warwickshire Pride Festival. Um, it normally takes place at the Pump Room Gardens in Leamington Spa each summer and was due to take place uh, this month actually, um, 22nd of August, but because of COVID-19 obviously it's not able to take place, but we're also going virtual with our festival thanks to the power of, of technology enabling us to do these virtual things and keep everyone connected. So, as I said, thank you so much for inviting Warwickshire Pride to be part of this. Um, you know, including us in such an event is really important, actually. And as an organisation, we're all about inclusion, um, inclusion of LGBT plus people. Now, too often, LGBT plus people are excluded for some reason from uh, services, from mental health services, from housing services, um, even from places like hairdressers um, and shops and bars, you know, all sorts of different types of, of services. Much of that is due to prejudice and discrimination against LGBT plus people, which is still rife and I think more rife than anybody really realises or, or understands. But also a lot of it is because of a lack of understanding or awareness of LGBT plus people's identities um, or the, the issues they may be facing um, or the, the needs that that community may have. So I think there's a, a long way to go until LGBT plus people are fully accepted and fully included, not just in services, but in society in general. And that's something that we're trying to work towards. We want to create and live in a world where all people, regardless of their sexuality, regardless of their gender identity, can live freely, can live openly as who they are. And as part of that, we invite other organisations, whether from the public sector, the private sector or the voluntary sector, to get involved with our work, to have open conversations and dialogue with us about how you can include LGBT plus people, how you can support LGBT plus people and how we can support you in implementing that. Because ultimately we all want the same thing. We all want people to feel well, to feel happy with who they are, to be fulfilled in life, to not be experiencing mental health problems, to be physically and mentally well. And inclusion goes some way to achieving that. And that's what we're all about. If you'd like to find out more about Warwickshire Pride and the work we do, then you can find us online. Um, you can go to warwickshirepride.co.uk uh, to find our website. You can also find us on uh, social media, Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Just type in Warwickshire Pride and uh, we'll pop up. And if there's a way that we can support you, or if you want to have uh, more of an open dialogue with us, then do feel free to get in touch. We're here to help you, to help LGBT plus people. So again, thank you so much to CW Partnership Trust for involving Warwickshire Pride uh, in this amazing virtual wellbeing festival. I hope you're all enjoying it and enjoy the rest of the festival. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.